Hello, everybody. Uh, it is a blessing to be able to sit in front of your screen again and uh, to open another portion of God's Word together. And I just want to say a special thank you to uh, Brother Richard Wharton and also Brother Eddie Irizarry uh, for the last couple of weeks of doing some devotionals and uh, very thankful for them. And I myself have enjoyed those and uh, listening to those. And uh, sometimes I get tired of hearing myself talk. And so uh, I like to hear from uh, some of the brothers and uh, what God is laying upon their heart. And so I, I really appreciate them for that. If you didn't get a chance to watch those, uh, I would encourage you to go back uh, on our YouTube channel, FNBC Fresno, and to, uh, to listen to what uh, Brother Wharton and Brother Irizarry uh, shared. And I know that God will bless your heart for it. Uh, uh, over the next couple of weeks, uh, I would like us to look at this subject of the time is now. The time is now. Uh, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 14 to 17, it says this. It says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. I want us to notice a few things today as we begin to look at this subject of the time is now. We find here that we are called to walk in a certain manner because we are the children of light. We must walk as lights in this world. Notice that Paul writes here that we must walk not as fools, but wise, redeeming the time. To redeem the time, it means to buy the time back. It means to purchase every moment and to take every opportunity to be used of God. So what does this mean to you and I? Well, the time is now. Not later, not next year, not next month, not next week, but right now. We often put things off. That, that's the tendency that we have as human beings. Uh, we put things off, we procrastinate, we wait until later. But what we find here is that there is no time to pro procrastinate. The time's now. Uh, and so the reason is because the days are evil. Well, why must we redeem the time? Why, why must we cease the opportunity and seize every moment? It's because the days are evil. This world is getting darker every single day. You turn on the news, you look around you, it is getting darker and darker and darker. This world needs us to shine for Christ like never before. Uh, this world will be overcome with darkness if God's people do not shine for him like they are supposed to. And so the time is now. The days are evil and they're only getting more and more evil. And so the time for us to act the time for us to serve the Lord, the time for us to shine, is right now. So we must understand that the end is near. The end is near. This world is coming to a close. Uh, Jesus said that when ye see these things pass, talking about all these different signs, and these signs we see before us of earthquakes and uh, and pestilence, and, uh, and wars, and rumors of wars, and, and we see these things increasing all around us, Jesus said, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. So we see all these signs around us, uh, and, and we understand that we are living in perilous times, as Paul wrote, we are in the latter days, we are in the end times. And so the end is near, this world is coming to a close, we, we are at the the. Uh, the end of the book, we are approaching the last chapter before the book of history is closed. And so listen, child of God, it, it, don't procrastinate and put off serving God and doing what he's called you to do. 
The time is now. That's what we're going to be studying over the next couple of weeks. So I want to close with this song. Soon and very soon we are going to see the key. Soon and very soon we are going to see the key. Soon and very soon we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there. We are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. Let's bow our heads. Our wonderful God, we thank you for this day and the blessing it is uh, to open a portion of your word. God, I pray that your spirit would lead us throughout this day. And God, that we would redeem the time, that we would cease every moment and that we might live it for you. Lord, help us to remember the words of this song and remember that one day very soon that we are going to see you face to face, that we're going to a place where there's no more crying, there's no more dying, there's no more suffering. God, I just pray that while we live this life, that we would be willing to suffer for your sake, that we would realize, as Paul said, that the sufferings of this present time cannot be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. We thank you and praise you today. In Jesus' name, amen.